Atlassian is quite a thought leader in the way that they do quality engineering. So a lot of organisations are just catching up to what we did nine or ten years ago. The traditional quality assurance approach is that testers are testing the work that developers do and finding bugs. So we tip that on its head and do quality assistance. We help the developers identify what their problems are likely to be and help the developers mitigate that risk from the start rather than after they finish the coding. We've reduced the cycles of delivery significantly by the devs not having to wait for feedback from testers, they get it themselves. Our oh, think carries are different from any other row outside of the industry because it's not a tester, it's not a developer, it's not a PM, it's not a team lead, but it's kind of all of that together. QEs are very integrated with the whole product life cycle. It's not just like that, we are coming at the end of, you know, when everything is built, it's there for you to test. The QEs are part of the leadership teams, they attend all of the meetings. We're essentially embedded and we take part in contributing to the product directly. QEs are being heard and they have a very important role in overall product making decisions that we have and how we can make it better and better for customers. A key part of the QE experience is bringing product knowledge across the board. Sometimes, at least, when you're too focused just on the code what's there, you, that's all you see. The QE tries to keep on top of what's happening through the rest of the teams. When you are trying to put something out for hundreds and thousands of customers, it's really important to take different point of view on things. Doing the analysis of defects to know what parts of the code are really risky to touch, knowing how many people use a particular thing, there's a lot of information and if you make it someone's job to understand how best to use that information, you can make the team you know, better. The QET are very technical, so they are involved in reading code, they are involved in building frameworks. I get a lot of opportunities to actually build things tools to help people test or tools to help people report feedback. There are all these opportunities to expand technical skills and that's like the most exciting thing to me. It does give you a voice and ability to actually express yourself. Every day can be something different. Everything we do is based on experimenting, being willing to try new things. What you do from week to week will never be static. It's up to you to come up with a solution. How you do that is your choice. The whole job is basically innovation time.